So the very first thing I've been shown was um, how we could put sensors to literally uh, observe the muscle uh, like underneath the skin, so like an internal view of the of the calf muscle, um, so that we can see what happens like from the moment where uh, we start to you know uh, play drums, activate ankles, and see how much the calf is involved, and and and, and all of these things. So basically, what we see here it's uh, there's a layer of uh, skin, there's a layer of fat, and then there's the muscle. And you can also do see the vein in, in, in the middle of the muscle. So it's really like <laughs> a really internal um, vision of whatever is happening. So this is the, the, the detail, like the accuracy with which they can do this experiment. Like you can literally see the, mo the muscle moving as we were doing the, the experiment. And throughout the experiment, you could see the vein that was starting to getting bigger and pumping more blood because I was getting warmed up. So you could see more blood flowing in that area of the body. Unfortunately, we couldn't have two sensors, one in the calf and one in the shin, but we can see that data on the screen. So not like if from an internal vision as with this sensor, as we're seeing in this part of the, the video, but uh, still like the data would show, um, will show how much the calf uh, has been involved. So after this part, um, we measured the propagation delay of the signals between my solus muscle and my spinal cord. So um, what we did was basically taking data from involuntary muscle uh, motions and activations and um, maximum contraction, so of certain parts of my body, like the back, um, my hip flexor, the uh, the calves, and other parts of the body, so that we can then we could do then compare that data to when I was playing in, uh, on drums, like doing heel up and swivel motion. So of course, I already know some of this data because I had to ask and I had to check, but I will keep all the data and as I get all the results so that we can literally see together what happens in my body wh while I'm playing drums. So it's very important because this will allow us to understand if we're going to injure ourselves by using these techniques, if there's a better way, more ergonomic and more efficient way of do doing certain motions that will not damage us in the long run. So that's why I'm very excited for this. I will wait you for the second part of the video and where we can go through the data and see what happens and uh, uh, have a answers to a lot of the questions that I think still today they're not very clear on the internet. Hopefully this will not stop at the only the ankle um, like research but also will go in the posture, will go in the hands, will go like it will expand. So to make that happen of course go and follow the guys at uh, Drum Biomech, uh, support the project, share it around, uh, let's spread the word so that there's going to be more attention and more, of course, possibility to do more of the res these researches. We have a great opportunity, so it's very important that we take advantage of, of this. I'll see you in the next video.